Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, an RV for the 0.1%, a cool heads-up display for your car, and is in-flight cell service coming to air travel? We sure hope not. If you're thinking about upgrading your RV after fixing that old awning on your Mini Winnie with some duct tape, again, you might want to check out this little number called the Element Palazzo. And uh, <clears throat> what an RV the Element is. For just $3 million, you too can be the envy of the KOA with a pop-up rooftop terrace and cocktail lounge, a fireplace, master bedroom with its own bathroom, and underfloor heating. Tip-outs? Yes, it has monster tip-outs. You can also rack up tickets from bewildered cops as you blow by them at over 90 miles per hour in what looks like a neon-trimmed alien spacecraft on wheels. You might think it's just a concept, but oh no, it's not, because according to Bold Ride, Australian RV maker Marquee Mobile just sold one to a customer in, wait for it, Dubai, of course. If you can't bring yourself to part with your old Volvo 240, but want to add a dose of modern tech, check out this new heads-up display system from startup Navdi. Sure, it shows navigation maps like other heads-up displays, but it's actually designed to reduce distracted driving. Paired with an Android or iOS phone, Navdi can field phone calls, read and send text messages, share your location, play music, and more. It also responds to gestures, which can be good or bad depending on what kind of gestures you like to use while driving. The developers say Navdi is based on aviation technology and projects an image ahead of the driver so I stay on the road, not on phone screens. Navdi is running their own pre-order campaign so you can score an early unit for 300 bucks right now. Wait too long though and it'll cost you about 500 so check it out at the link below. Now that airlines have relaxed rules about using our tech during flights, it seems only natural that we should be able to make phone calls as well, right? <coughs> Wrong. In a move that frequent flyers and flight crews reportedly wholeheartedly support, the Wall Street Journal reports the Department of Transportation is moving closer to banning all in-flight phone calls. Why? Well, probably because neighboring passengers are probably going to want to strangle that chatty Cathy who loudly blathers away as you soar over Cleveland. Or, as the DOT politely calls it, the disruptive effects of voice calls during flights. So what about texting? Well, the DOT will likely allow it when they make the new rules, which could come down soon. Yeah, texting. We could live with that. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.